So Eric B. Enemy is interviewing today, <clears throat> excuse me, at the time of this uh, recording of this video, which is on Thursday, February the 16th. So he is the leading candidate for the offensive coordinator position for the Washington Commanders. And this is the candidate that a lot of us fans have been clamoring over for the past few weeks at least because of basically what we have seen in Kansas City. But as well, it's been <clears throat> cautious optimism because certainly we want to know how much of that was Andy Reid, how much of that was Eric Bieniemy. Well, I think some of that was answered during the Super Bowl or after the Super Bowl when Andy Reid was interviewed and he said because of Eric Bieniemy. He devised a plan that brought them 17 points, what well, was in the fourth quarter, to bring the Kansas City Chiefs their second Super Bowl in four years. So, Eric Bieniemy certainly had a lot to do with the win in this year's Super Bowl. Now, the other thing that certainly a lot of people want to raise the red flags on with Eric Bieniemy is the fact that. He wasn't always the one who called the plays in Kansas City. You know, certainly Andy Reid, he had a heavy hand in calling plays and, and the offensive schemes and things like that. <clears throat> I think that it's time now that Eric is able to go to a place where he can have his own offense. He can be the guy. Now, if you... Look at other tweets like uh, a tweet from Robert Griffin III. RG3 basically says, hold out for a head coaching job. You're, you're long past deserved for a head coaching job. I can probably see that. Now, some people around the situation, who's close to the situation, seem to feel that... Be, Eric Bieniemy has not gotten head coaching position because of his relationship with players. You know, we've had certain players, ex players, to come out and say that, <clears throat> you know, that Eric Bieniemy has kept them from being Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl players because he didn't utilize them right or wasn't right relationship with them, so he just purposely didn't play them. Things like that. Now, it's one-offs here and there. Uh, the other thing is, you know, there have been talks about where he didn't have the best relationship with Patrick Mahomes. That may or may not be true. But then again, how often have you heard about, you know, Tom Brady not necessarily having the best relationship with his offensive coordinators? Look at him. What was it? Him and O'Brien? Um, several years back, got into it on the sidelines. I mean, it happens. It's a competitive nature between, you know, coach and, and player, and certainly a coach who has been a player in the past. He's still going to have those competitive juices naturally. So you expect that, and almost you would, you kind of want that. You, you kind of want a little bit of that drama there, but. Having said all that, I, I just, the long and short of it is, should Eric Bieniemy be in Washington as an offensive coordinator, or should it be somewhere else and be a head coach? Now, that is, that is certainly the biggest question. Personally, I think that Eric Bieniemy may be a head coach by default if he goes to Washington. Because, again, we're going to be under new ownership here in the next month. Now, this is all assuming, I know, but it seems likely that we're trending that way. So if that's the case, hopefully the new owners understand possibly the value that we would have if we do hire Eric Bieniemy as the offensive coordinator. And if we do hire... Eric B. and me as the offensive coordinator, there's a chance if he is already well deserving to be a head coach, maybe this is the guy that slides into an interim head coaching position 
during the season because it's likely that Ron Rivera would be gone during midseason if things start out or if things are going the way that they kind of went in the past couple of seasons. Because, you know, new ownership, they're going to have their own ideas of who they want to bring in. Off, you know, front office, coaching staff, that sort of thing. So, you know, Ron Rivera is really on the hot seat at this point, and I think he knows it. But bringing in Eric Bieniemy, which is an interesting point too, we bring this up because they also interviewed Greg Roman. Greg Roman fits more of the narrative of what Mark, uh, not Mark Murphy, um, but what the front staff, uh, with the front office, and what Ron Rivera was talking about their philosophy with their offense being a two to one ratio run pass. Greg Roman fits that philosophy to a T. I think with the Ravens offense, they ran the ball probably what was it, 66% of the time. That's exactly what Ron Rivera was looking for. However, being the fact that you have somebody like Eric Bieniemy, who obviously the Kansas City Chiefs had some tremendous offenses and, you know, was able to score 30 points, 30 plus points on average. You want a guy like that coming in, but here's the thing. Philosophies are polar opposites. Eric Bannemi doesn't usually have thousand yard rushers. Eric Bannemi usually focuses more on the passing game. I think he has more of a 66% passer ratio to, to run. So it's total opposite of what Ron Rivera and company said that they were really looking for as far as their offense. So what changed? You know, is it the fact that Eric Bannemi is such a valuable commodity that you would be, quite frankly, stupid to pass him up? Or is it the fact that your coaching position, that's a hot seat right now, and you've got to do what you need to do in order to win football games, you know, bringing in somebody like Eric Benemy, who's going to hopefully uh, devise an offense that's going to score some points because you've got a solid defense already. If you put together an offense that can score you 30 points a ball game, you're going to be in the playoffs. And I think at this point, even Ron Rivera would look at that and say, I, I can't pass that up. So, and I think possibly new ownership might see that as well. It's like, you know what? Ramavera screws up. You know, we're, we're looking to probably make a change anyway. Eric Bieniemy could be the next change we make. He's already on staff. It would be easy for us. So that's the next natural process if he's ready to be a head coach. So, folks, just wait and see. But today, Eric Bieniemy is going to be interviewed... I would expect him to be hired, honestly, by tomorrow. Honestly. I think the Washington Commanders would be stupid not to hire him. You know, throw aside offensive philosophies. At this point, I don't think it matters. I think it comes down to the fact that you have a candidate who can really bring a, a philosophy to you that's going to pump some much-needed life into your offense, hopefully is going to help develop a quarterback that you have that's going in to his second year, uh, has only played one game in the regular season, but a guy that, you know, number one, Eric Manemi is not going to bring along slowly. They didn't bring Patrick Mahomes along slowly. Uh, so he's, he's going to let him loose. And this could be a good thing. I, I, you know, this could be a real good thing, certainly for um, Sam Howell, as long as we fix the offensive line, which is another video. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, please like it, uh, share it with your friends, you know, um, help the algorithm out, help to get this video out to others. And as well, if you want to help me out, 
Certainly subscribing always helps. I have an Etsy page as well. It's called Envy Artwork. And I sell all sorts of stuff on here. Um, I have t-shirts, have mugs. Uh, you want a Washington Commander's mug? There you go. It's a little bit different than what you're going to get normally. Uh, I'm still Redskins at heart, so there you go. Cowboys, you know, got to cater to other fans, I guess. Um, I, I really like this Cincinnati Bengals one that I did. Yes, Red Wolves. I, I'm telling you, there's still some hope for Red Wolves, right? Uh, but if we stick with the Commanders, I think we need an alternate logo. Um, Red Hogs, again, you never know with a new ownership change. Uh, music fans, I got shirts for you as well. I got shirts for the youth. So I got t-shirts, I got wall art, I got abstract, awesome neon wall art. I got, you know, like watercolors. That's New York City. Space scenes, so stuff in your dorm rooms. It's Envy Artwork. Please check it out. Um, I think I've got something for everybody. So yeah, just check it out. Um, you help support this channel and you get something pretty cool in exchange. Folks, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're enjoying this channel. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.